Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this basic crochet scarf. It's very cozy and very nice to wear. And it's also adjustable. So, let's see. Hi guys, what we need today is 4mm crochet hook, yellow or caspar yarn, and this is a, like a porcelain color, charity double knit posting, 100% acrylic, approximately 256 yards. I also need a scissors and a darning needle. To begin, let's chain 15. Make a slip knot and chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and add one more total of 16 make a one double crochet in the second chain from the hook which is one two make one double crochet here Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yeah, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, loop. This is what we're going to only do. For the rest of the row. Till we reach the end. This is basically the easiest pattern for the beginner to make a scarf. It's a very quick and easy project. And you, you can make it as long as you want it to and as wide as you want it to. If you want it wider, you can just add chains. Just like this one, I made 16. If you want it wider, you can make it 5, 5, I mean 20, 25, 30. It's all up to you. And chain, now we're at, at the end. You have to chain 2. 1, 2. Every end, you have to chain 2. Flip it. Turn over and then make one double crochet in the second chain which is one two you make one here another another one I'm just going to repeat this again till you reach the end of your stitch it's very nice and cozy this one and if you want if you want your your scarf longer you can just add more double crochet which of course it use more yarn as well
and the quickest and easiest basic crochet scarf that you can make in less than one hour you can you can make this while watching tv or listening music or whatever you And now now that we're at the end, you need to make sure that you put one double crochet here so that our double crochet will be total of 16. And then chain two, arm over and double crochet in the second chain basically we're just gonna do this over and over <laughs> so i'm gonna show i'm gonna make 10 rows of this and i'm gonna change color and i'm gonna show you after that i just finished my 10 rows of this double crochet i need 16 on each row 16 double crochet across so this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten rows and i'm gonna cut the yarn and i'm gonna connect my other yarn I'm just going to basically do this just pull it like that and chain two two you pull the yellow and you have made your two chain and make one double crochet in the second space Pull it tight, and you're just going to do for for me this porcelain color. I'm gonna use five rows of it, and after that, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna connect my yellow yarn again, and make ten rows, and then connect the white to make five rows, ten and five rows of 16 double crochet and i'm gonna show you when i'm done and I'll, I'll show you what to do next just don't forget to chain two in every end or corner which is chain two count as double crochet and you always have 16 double crochet across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 okay I'm showing you when I'm done hi guys I've just finished making my scarf so I made a total of 115 rows because I did 10, 5, 10, and 5 of this, and 10 of this, which is a total of 115 rows. That's all already enough size for me, enough length for me. So if you want it longer, you can just you can just carry on on doing this 16 double crochet until you reach your desired length so what we're going to do next is with my darning needle just now okay i've just found my darning needle <laughs> so what we need to do next is we are just going to thread this remaining yarn so it will look 
neat as you can see we have so much to wave we are going to wave all this remaining yarn i'm going to show you how to do it if you still don't know how it's just so easy it's just like sewing clothes <laughs> so just do it like this pull just to make it tight so it won't do loose it's up to you wherever you want to put it as long as it's neat tight as well so when you wash it it's not going to go undone okay that's just how you do it wrap it and do the other ones thread just going to thread it okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna thread all my remaining yarn and I'm gonna show you my finished product I've just finished making this scarf and I like how it turned out it looks so nice and this is very cozy to wear and well done guys thank you so much for watching I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to leave a comment below to improve my crochet skills and my video skills <laughs> Thank you. Bye.